guys? How you guys doing today? So as you can see, I am in the brand new Lamborghini that I just picked up yesterday. This thing is a beast. I actually do have something to tell you guys, so let me hop back real quick. I don't really know how to reveal this to you guys, so I guess I'll just come out and say it that I literally pranked all of you. Every single one of you watching this video right now got pranked. Even my family got pranked. Guys, I'm sorry to break it to you, but this is not my Lamborghini. I did not purchase this. I actually rented this for the day so I can attempt this prank on my family. And when I was thinking about it, the best way to make this seem as realistic as possible to my family was to make this video super genuine and to not reveal that it was a prank yet that's why i didn't tell you guys yesterday because when my family went and watched the video the next day when i uploaded it i wanted to make sure that they still didn't know yet because i want to get their reactions when they find out that it's not actually my lamborghini you guys saw my mom was freaking out yesterday no i don't honestly okay, okay i'm like getting nauseous you need to talk to me Okay, well, all right, off. yeah, let's, let's, let's shut the cameras off. And my dad, grandma, sister, Lizzie, everyone loved the car, but they all thought it was real, except Lizzie. Lizzie knew that it was fake because I had her recording. Uh, but yeah, I'm sorry to break it to you guys. If I did actually buy a Lambo, I would get a Lamborghini Aventador. That is my ultimate dream car. But I thought this was such a funny video idea, so I had to go through with it. I apologize for pranking you guys. We're about to go get my family's reaction. But before we do that, I need to give a huge shout Shout out to Imagine Lifestyles. They hooked it up for the day. They allowed me to get the Lamborghini to prank my family. It was definitely an awesome experience driving this car as well. So if you guys are ever interested in renting any cars for yourself, I'm gonna leave a link at the very top of the description. I'm gonna leave their website link and YouTube link. They're located in Pensacola, New Jersey. I actually recorded some footage of me picking up the car yesterday at Imagine Lifestyles, so check that out real quick. Okay guys, just got over here to Imagine Lifestyles. Super excited. To to check out the car. We're gonna go in right now and see it. Let's go. Hey, what's up, man? Yo, thanks. What's going on? Nice to meet you. Good to have you in. Let's check out the car. You ready to see it? Let's do it. Oh, you see the rolls? Oh. We got G Class I8. Woo! We got the Lambo. This is actually a 2018 Lamborghini Huracan. Yo, I'm gonna prank my parents so good with this. Look at that. Ding. And it's a convertible. That's sweet. Yeah, it's like a spaceship. Missile, missile launch. Once again to Imagine Lifestyles. If you guys ever need any exotic or luxury car rentals, make sure to go check them out. All right, let's go get my parents' reactions. Before we go in there, merch link a bio. Get your merch down below. Lance210.com. Hi, Gio. Don't pee on me, boy. <gasps> <gasps> he just peed Gio. on the carpet. Come on. Gio, go outside. Go Come outside. On. He's still peeing. Oh my God. He's gonna pee on you, bro. No. Nope. Good boy. <laughs> Hello, Grandma. So, I wanted to know, do you want to take a ride in the Lamborghini? Yeah, I would love to. Okay, but I got to reveal something at first. What? It's not really mine. You mean it ain't really yours. I rented it for the day. Mom and Dad, everybody still doesn't know. You're kidding. <laughs> I really like that car. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? I think it's sharp. It I is sharp. Want, that is I true. I really wanted to go in it. Yes, and my back hurts. I know. Is it still hurting right now? Yeah. Yeah, see, like, I didn't want to bring you in the car and launch you if, like, you were still no, in pain. No, please. Yeah. I wanted to be the hospital for real. <laughs> but I really like that car. Why don't you get it, Lance? Yeah. Yeah, when I make more money, Grandma. Take those two cars and trade them in or whatever. Like, <laughs> no, I love my cars. I actually do, at some point in my life, plan on having, like, an entire supercar garage. So, definitely, I will have crazy exotic cars. That's but for favorite. the time being... That's my favorite. What, you like that one? Yes. Yeah, if I got it all decked out, that would be pretty dope. You're so crazy. <laughs> all right, so no ride in the in the car for grandma. She doesn't no, want to hurt her back. No, no, But uh, no. where's mom and dad at? I don't know. Gio's literally like destroying grandma right now. <laughs> I don't know, mom went to therapy, dad's working. Aw, uh, they're not even at home. So right. you didn't tell anybody else? No, right? well, let's go, we'll go tell Sabrina. What? Hey, I got a surprise for you. What? Lamborghini's yours. What? It's yours. No, it ain't. Yeah, it is. 
Congrats. Brand new Lambo. I don't believe it. I know, you showed it. <laughs> it's not even mine. Look, I rented it. Yeah. How do you know? Because. Because what? You don't know? You didn't even know yesterday. Because you would just, you would talk to mom. Not always. I told you, I, I went to get me. it. You're not me. You're not slick. You're not me. I am slick. Slick Rip, they call me. <laughs> mom still doesn't even know. Let me do your makeup. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> My dad just got here. Where's the keys at? Where's the keys for what? The Lambo? Lambo? For a ride. What, you want to drive it? Yeah, what do you mean? Well, today might be the last day you get to do that, so go ahead. Why the last day? <laughs> Did you know? It's a prank. I rented it. It's not real. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. You got so excited too. Oh, me and your mother are gonna take it this weekend. Down the shore. Oh, were you? <laughs> we're gonna take it Friday night. She still doesn't know. I, I gotta tell mom still as well. Uh, you better go over there and tell her. But yeah, I rented it for the day. I just wanted to prank you guys. Tell the guy we want it for a couple more days. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> Let's go tell mom. Hello. I got a surprise to tell you. Okay. Another one? Yeah. I'm still digesting yesterday's. All right, so as you know, I bought a Lambo. Now I was thinking, you know, I bought a Lamborghini, but it doesn't end there. I want a Ferrari, so could we go buy that too? No, I'm freezing all your accounts. You're buying nothing. How are you gonna do that? <laughs> Easy, I have the power to. Nah. All right, so I gotta break the news. I didn't actually buy the Lambo. I rented it. <laughs> There's like so much relief there for my mom. I was trying to figure out how you did it because I was in all the accounts and there was no large sums of money gone. <laughs> so I'm thinking, oh my God, he went and financed something without me. Like, no. Mom was going crazy. What happened? We're supposed to take it out on the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? We can't anymore. All right, well, listen, it's your money to do what you want with, but you have to discuss me and your purchases because we have a plan. I know that, I know. That's why, like, I knew my mom would freak out but just came home randomly with, like, a Lamborghini. Like, she would be going crazy because we're trying to invest my money and be smart about it. And she keeps telling me, like, lay low on, like, buying the toys and the cars and all this stuff. We have a surprise to tell you. What's that? I'm adopted? We just bought a cigarette <laughs> boat off of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> you gotta buy your own boat. He's been talking about that for a while. I got you a car. That's enough. <laughs> I didn't get anything, and I'm the one that runs the Well, guess what? Financial You're not 50 yet now, are you? No, and I don't want to be ever, so. Cool, then I never have to buy you a car. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, look at this timing. As soon as we're walking back, he's coming over to check out the car. They're picking it up right now. So I literally get the reactions at the perfect time. Everything good with the car? Everything's looking I, good. I only smashed it to a few poles. Uh, they don't it. do much. It's all right. <laughs> Had to work with him. Great. They definitely fell for it. Yeah, they pop? Yeah. <laughs> you guys get a chance to go out in it? Cruise around yeah, a little bit? Yeah, I brought them out. My grandma Grand didn't get a chance to go into it because her backs are in, unfortunately, but next time. Next time we'll get grandma. Yeah, next time we'll get another car. We'll get a Ferrari or something. <laughs> All right, guys, we are jumping right into the P.O. Box opening. I know I haven't done one of these in a very long time, so let's get right into it. First package, order these. Toilet seat cover, toilet paper, wet wipes, and hand sanitizers. That actually comes in handy. I'm gonna start putting these in my bags for when I travel. That is so cool. There's one called a, I can't say that word anymore because uh, I'm gonna get age restricted. It's a poop kit, pretty much. Park pack, hangover kit. That's what Aiden needs. <laughs> this is from Mark Seams. Thank you so much, Mark. Yo, I've seen these before. Okay, so the best way to describe this is like this, this inflatable blow up pouch that you use with the air. If that makes sense. So like you lay on it. It's almost like a little hammock. Okay, you know what? As soon as we're done the P.O. Box opening, I'm gonna bring this outside and show you guys this. They sent us two of them. That's so sweet. Alvina. Thank you, Alvina. I appreciate this. This is sick. This is from Lynn and Cody Stevens. Looks like we got some postcards in here. Pretty cool. A little package in here for me, Lizzie, my parents and grandma, Lance and friends. So we'll just open them up all on camera. We got a t-shirt. Pretty dope. Thank you. Chicken flavored soup. It actually says the other word, but <laughs> you guys know. Got a t-shirt. Hey. Aw, thank you. <laughs> Whoa! This has my logo on it, and it also has something hanging out. Does this light up? Oh, that's, so cute. that's that's like very very cool. Thank you. You guys are creative. Looks like we got maybe some jewelry in here. Oh, it's a wallet. Is that like fake or I can't really tell if that's the, the logo? No, it's not. It's called Silk Star. It kind of looks like it though. That's sweet. Thank you. Creature cuffs. So apparently there's a creature hidden in these cuffs. Like a little mug with a, oh, I guess it's for grandma. It's got a turtle inside. That's so cool. Thank you for that. Quail eggs. Ew. Wow. That is very, very strong smelling. Ooh, this is a jacket. 
Oh, that's pretty dope. There's another one. It's like a digital red camo. That's sick. This is from Prevailing Apparel. So thank you so much for sending this over. That's dope. <gasps> oh, I thought these were wait, Are these real? Yeah, they are. They're smoke grenades. Dude, look at all these. <laughs> thank you. I hate these packages. I literally hate them. Give me all the presents it says on it. What? Hey. It's a necklace and it's got my logo. That's sick. Thank you. This is from the Williams family. Looks like we got some artwork. Hey, we got the 210 logo. We'll be sure to throw this up on the wall with the other fan art. This is for grandma, so I'll give this to her separately. Thank you so much. We got some candy. <laughs> I'm gonna really you get fat from all that candy upstairs. That's funny. It's like a character. Oh. Me and Lizzie. That's funny. Wow. That's sick. It's literally a record with my logo on it and camo. You guys know I love camo. Thank you so much. Clear knives. Hey, we got some plastic knives. Hey, Lance, enjoy this gift as it's been two years since your fruit ninja incident. <laughs> These might be a little safer than all the other knives you had sent from Josh. Thank you so much, Josh. That's hilarious. This huge box is from Katie Stone. Whoa, we got a lot of stuff in here. Hey, bad bombs. We got a little cleaning kit here. It's pretty cool. A picture frame. We do got treats. <gasps> uh, both of their heads just popped up. Big hey, one, Bella. Absolute salt. Face mask. Another face mask. Tear stain remover. Mm -hmm. Definitely needed this. Thank you. There you go, Lizzie. Some makeup remover. A starburst candle. First of time I've ever seen that. Thank you so much for this package. I greatly appreciate it. You guys are amazing. That pretty much wraps it up for the fan mail opening. If you guys want to send anything, my fan mail PO box address is always in the description. So we're going to try and figure out how to use this exactly. I've seen ads for it. So I think yeah, me too. Oh, there's like a little thing that you push into the ground so I guess you stay. This is going to be so hilarious. Why is that, Ant? Because they're like tricky. My point exactly. So I guess that's Nope. How you doing, Ant? Eh? Nope. No, Apparently, Ant knows how to do it. Figure it out. Let's see who gets it first. Ant, hey, that's the best I'm getting, bro. Let me do it? Yeah. Inflate the one part. Inflate the second part. Close it off and roll it. But once you clip it, it stays. You can sit on it. Oh my! Yeah, I got a clip or else it's gonna come undone. Hey. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Aiden's trying it out. <laughs> He's going quick. He's going so quick. <laughs> He's just carrying a space shuttle at this point. Bye. He's still running. He's gone. Bye, Aiden. Who's in there? <laughs> hey, I wasn't ready. She wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's hey. a Lizzie. I hate this kid. <laughs> oh, you got it. Got it. It's because you had to run down the street. Oh, uh, yeah, that's why. Just then. Theo literally just took a piss on this. Theo! Come on, What is bro. wrong with you? Listen, maybe he thought it was the grass. But yeah, the no. Grass. He literally loves material like this. He peed on my jacket the other day. It was like the same material. Wow, Aiden. You had a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, had a, I had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Theo, Bella, come on. Come on. Theo, come on. <laughs> Where the? Nathan, <laughs> okay, bye. Oh, my. Come on. Come on. Oh, here she comes. Go. Look at her! <laughs> oh, she's so she loves it. Good girl. Three hours late. So we're going to pick up my Audi R8 right now. I currently don't have it because I had to get an oil change and we're also replacing the wheels on it. I actually ended up hitting a pothole not too long ago coming home from the shore. And it literally sounded like I popped my tire because of how hard it hit. Luckily I didn't, but it did bend the rim and destroy that. So we're putting my old wheels on it for right now until we get another one to replace that. So they all look the same, obviously. Look at this paint job on this car. I don't even know what that is. It's like grainy. Hey, hey there is my baby. As you guys can see, we got the old wheels on now. These ones don't have the chrome blue stripes on them. It's been a while since these wheels have been on, but I do love these ones. And they also clean the car as well, so it's looking super beautiful right now and reflective. It's actually been a pretty good amount of time since I've last gotten this car detailed. So seeing this right now is just gorgeous. This looks so clean. You got it, Pops? <laughs> There's the old wheels right there. Bam. Oh, they even cleaned the inside of the car. Ooh, that smells great. Oh, it smells like a brand new car in here. All right, let's start her up. It's so loud. <laughs> 
What's funny is the Lamborghini Huracan that I had earlier today drives exactly like my Audi R8 did when I first got it. It sounds exactly the same. It drives exactly the same. They're both V10 motors. I literally think that they use the same exact engine in both cars and then they just obviously have a different body style and maybe a little bit of different like technology functionalities, but they're pretty much like the same car. Except I do know that the Lamborghini was rear wheel drive and this is all wheel drive. Eight hours later. Me and Anthony just wrapped up the gym, completely killed that workout. I actually did a full session of cardio today. Ooh. I haven't been doing cardio that often and I really need to because my face is starting to get a little bit bloated again and that's because I haven't been drinking the gallon of water every single day. Plus, I haven't been eating the greatest since we got that whole candy set up in there as well. So I need to chill. I've been still grinding. I just haven't been eating as good as I was. But we're gonna go to the park right now. You wanna go to the park? You wanna go to the park? They get so happy. You wanna go to the park, Theo? Look how happy he is. I know you wanna go. So we're gonna bring the dogs to the park right now. I'm gonna run around there as well. I literally wanna run until I get to the point where I'm like in a robot mode where my body just starts to wanna move on its own even if I'm trying to stop. It's happened to me a couple times in my life and it's honestly one of the best feelings ever. I think it's called a runner's high. After you run a certain amount of miles, your body just feels like continuously moving and going, even if you try not to. I don't really know how to describe it, but that's the best way that I can describe it. So, so I'm just gonna run as much as I possibly can around at the park. And these little babies will get some exercise as well. They love going. I finally found it. I know, a fan <laughs> sent this to us before, and it's for the dogs, and we always forget to bring it to the park. Yeah, it was in the bottom of the toilet. So, I know, so. Like really fling this. Like, I can't wait to see Bella book it. <laughs> Good boy, get in. Good, Bella. Come on, Bella, you can do it. She's just lazy. You lazy girl. There they go. These dogs are so impatient right now. Theo just got in the car, ran out my side, got in the other side again. He's just going in circles now. And oh, Bella's I, tail is whacking me. I think she thinks she's going back to the doctor's. Aww. No, she better not because she's going to start stinking. She gets nervous and gets that smell. Yeah. Theo's like all the way out the window right now. <laughs> he's trying to go farther. Oh my gosh. Every time we come here, Theo is always the loud as dog. You can have a dog 12 times his size and it doesn't matter. He'll out bark it every time. Girl, Good girl, girl Bella, girl. going potty. You're free! Run! Oh, there she goes. Get it, girl! Wait, you ran past it again! What happened to her butthole? There's like poop smeared all over it. Yeah. Look at it! Ew! <laughs> Ew, it's so bad! Theo, you wanna run? Come on, come on, Theo! <laughs> Why does this dog not play anymore? Remember when he was so playful? Yeah, I know. <laughs> at our apartment door. We wanna go outside and just run in the hallway. I mean, he did grow up. As dogs grow up, usually they're not as playful, but I don't feel like that's gonna be the same way with Bella. Like, I feel like <laughs> Bella's always gonna be playful. Damn, girl, how you poop yourself? Just wanted to say really quick, I know that I haven't been actually like vlogging as of recently. And by that, I mean just walking around the camera and showing you guys what I do throughout the day. I've been trying to focus more on like really high quality videos, but I understand there's a lot of you that still miss the vlogging style of the video. So I'm gonna try my absolute best to like combine the two try to make like a really high quality video for the day And then also add in the vlogging content again. So please forgive me I'm just like literally starting back up uploading every single day again I'm trying to make it a habit like it once was a lot of you seem to be enjoying the videos a lot recently So I'm very grateful and appreciative for that. Thank you so much I will get back into the full vlogs very very soon. It's gonna be a little bit slow at first, but it'll happen Look at his face. He looks so cute <laughs> Are they actually playful now? Bella like tries to side tackle him. They just want to attack each other the whole time. I made a promise to you guys that I am going to get this channel to 10 million subs before the end of 2019. Honestly, I feel like we can do it before then. I mean, just basing off of my charts recently, I mean, just basing it off the charts, you guys can clearly see that over the past week, my subscriber count per day has been jumping like crazy. I haven't gotten gains like that, subscriber wise, since months ago. And just seeing that makes me very happy and actually motivates me even more to make better videos for you guys so just wanted to come on here and say thank you so much for that again if you are not yet subscribed for some reason hit that subscribe button right now let's get to 10 mil if you guys have any suggestions for video ideas that you think would be very very cool once again leave a comment down below I always read your guys comments although I don't always get a chance to reply I do read the majority of them what what are you barking at Bella get your poopy butt off of me Bella you want it you want it Whee! Whee! oh she almost got it you know Lizzie's been grinding too he's been putting out videos like literally you upload a more in the past week than you've uploaded in the past three months. So yeah. I give you that. <laughs> So we are currently headed back to the car and Lizzie brought up this idea that we put Bella like halfway in a bag <laughs> Like a plastic bag we just like three minutes from here. 
I know, just so we don't get any poop stains on my car, because that would suck. Or on Lizzie, yes. That's way too small. <laughs> we get it's like a little diaper. <laughs> oh my. That's not really working. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I thought when Lizzie said bag, it was like a bigger bag, not like a little poop bag. I'm gonna try and see if I have anything in my car that we could use. Let's see here. Anything back here? I mean, I guess we could use that as like a little tarp. All right. So Lizzie, lay this down on your lap, girl. Bella, you gotta put your butt on that. Bella, you gotta keep your butt here. Pull it over one. Good girl. <laughs> At least she's happy. <laughs> Bella's about to get a bath. Ain't that right, girl? <laughs> so, you watching Bella and Theo? Yeah, might as well. Can I go after Bella? What? Does she hate baths? No, she's actually... <laughs> she's trying to drink it. She, she's like really good with the bath. She'll sit there. Mm -hmm. She won't like squirt. She doesn't like blow drying. I'll have to get you to come in and record her blow drying. She's mm -hmm. like this the whole time. Yeah, it's like when you blow in her face. Uh -huh. Look at that tongue. Just hanging out the side. Bella. Ow, my hair. Oh, it's clipped onto the hair too. Tag's been sticking out. This? What is it? I burnt myself. Oh yeah, Lizzie burnt herself with the iron. Yep. Whee! The pigment of her skin is like a pig. <laughs> She's like so skinny underneath all this fluff. Theo's even skinnier. Bella weighs like five pounds more than Theo. Oh yeah, get up in there. That's it. All that's gotta be clean. <laughs> Probably tickling her neck right now. Look at it. It looks like she's enjoying it. <laughs> She looks hilarious. If you guys see, Bella's cherry eye came back. Unfortunately, this is a common problem that we have with her. Our only other solution right now is to honestly just get the surgery done so that doesn't happen. We're just a little bit scared because we were told that there is a good possibility that if we get the surgery, it could dry her eyes out more. Now, obviously, we would get some type of medication to put in her eye to soothe it. I mean, Lizzie's pretty much doing that already now with her. Yeah, basically. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess, I guess it wouldn't be too much of a difference. It's just a shame because like, you know, she gets scared so easily. I don't want to put this dog in more like terror by trying to bring her to the vet again and for and her like, to get surgery. Another thing I'm worried about is that like with these drops that I'm giving her now, if I just so happen to miss one in the morning, it's not like, damaging her. Yeah. Like if anything, all it's doing is like really helping keep it moist, but she doesn't need it. Yeah. The vet is just wanting me to do it. And with the drops after the surgery, I have to do it or else if I don't. Her eyes her will get eyes dried dry. out. But that, I feel like that's if you go like excessive days with not putting it in her eyes. Yeah. Eye. I would never do that. We were told by the vet that this couple got that done for their dog where they got the cherry eye removed and they didn't give the dog the drop so that dog's eye was getting really dried out. And the dog actually ended up scratching the eye so much that it fell out. It literally ripped its own eye out. Yeah, it's pretty bad. So we're still trying to figure out what we want to do with that, putting us in a rough spot. The vet did say though, if we left her eye like this, it's not going to damage it. But if it got like really, really red and more inflamed, then that'd be something they did worry about. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Bella. <laughs> I like don't want to scrub her butt, but I have to. <laughs> Get like a little rag or something. Well, I mean, I'm just filming the experience. You're having all the fun. <gasps> oh, you're doing good, baby. You're getting a bath next, mister. Theo likes baths though. Usually if I say, do you want to get a bath? He gets excited. Oh, there he is. Starts wagging his tail. You want to get a bath? <laughs> Where are you going? Do you want to get a bath? You want to get a bath? All right, time for me to get a shower because I smell from the gym. Oh, she looks so fluffy. <laughs> Eventually. Oh, much better. Oh, her coat is so nice. Look how fluffy they look. Theo's begging for a treat. She's trying to dig in there. Good girl, Bella. She just waits. So there's a gumball machine behind us, and Anthony just asked if Lizzie has any quarters cause, because obviously he doesn't have any on him. So Lizzie ends up pulling out this bag. Go ahead, pull out the bag. Literally entirely full of quarters. Yep. That's it. That's all there's in there. We collect them? No, I just, when I clean the room, I clean the bathroom and stuff. Like. You just find them, yep. throw them in there. But you only have quarters in here. What'd you get? Blue. Blue? Let's see. Oh, wow. It literally <laughs> just said blue on the music. That's funny. I got yellow. There you go. Hey, she just got another blue one. Lizzie just went three more times in a row, and look what she got. Two more blue and a purple. That's hilarious. He's over there paying right now. I hit it. Thank you. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Do not forget to subscribe. And other than that, I will see you guys next time. Peace.